In this lecture, we are going to talk about part five of matrices, which is system of equations. Now we want to see how we can use the concepts that we learn about matrices, such as inverse or matrix matrix multiplication or matrix vector multiplication. All right, so the goals of this part is to understand the definitions of these concepts and see some of the examples. First, we want to see what's the definition of a system of equations. Then we talk about properties of systems of equations and how to solve uh, systems of equations. So a system of linear equations is in n variables is denoted as matrix A multiplied by vector X is equal to vector B. So if you want to expand this, it's going to be something like this. So matrix A includes the coefficients for each of these equations. So the first row of matrix A, the first row includes the coefficients for first equation. And the first element of vector B, so it's B1, B sub two, B sub n. The first element is the constant value here. And vector X includes all of the variables that are our unknowns. So in this equation, coefficients A are, are knowns. Uh, the right-hand side value B is known and the unknowns are X sub one to X sub n. And we have a set of these uh, equation. We have n of them here. So matrix A is called a matrix of coefficients or coefficient matrix. And vector X is called a vector of unknowns. So let's uh, look at the three by three examples. So we'll define matrix A. Let's go the other way around. So we have a system of uh, linear equations like 2x1 minus x2 plus 3x3 is equal to 12 minus x1 plus 8x2 minus 2.5x3 is equal to 4.2 and 1 over 2x sub 1 plus over 3x sub 2 is equal to five. So uh, here, as you can see, the coefficient for X3 is zero. Now we want to determine what's matrix of coefficients. Matrix of coefficients, as we said, these coefficients create the rows of matrix A, two, minus one, three, minus one, eight, minus 2.5, And one divided by two, one, two, three, and zero. This is matrix A. How about vector B? Vector B is the right hand side vector. So B is equal to 12, 4.2, 5. And our uh, vector of unknowns or variables, X is equal to X sub one, X sub two, and X sub three. All right. So this is how we define system of equations in the matrix and vector format. So this is usually the standard format that we can translate the system of equations to the computer and use our programming tools that we will discuss later to solve it. All right. So how to solve a system of linear equation? Suppose we have a system of linear equations that uh, we have written in the standard format, matrix A, matrix of coefficients multiplied by vector X, unknown vectors, variables, is equal to constant vector B. Given the fact that A is a square and invertible, so we assume that A is a square matrix, which means dimensions of A are equal. The number of rows and columns are equal. And also it's invertible. What does that mean? That means determinant of matrix A should be non-zero. 
or A should be a non-singular matrix. So given these two conditions, we can solve uh, for X by multiplying both sides of this equation from left to A inverse. So if you recall, the feature of A inverse was A inverse multiplied by A is equal to identity matrix. So we start from A, X is equal to B, which is our equation. Now what we do, we multiply this from left to A inverse. All right, here's what you're going to have. A inverse multiplied by AX is equal to A inverse multiplied by B. Now what we do, we bring these two together. So it's going to be A inverse A multiplied by vector X is equal to A inverse B. And based on the definition of inverse, A inverse A is equal to identity matrix. So we have identity matrix multiplied by vector of variables or vector of unknowns X is equal to A inverse B. And identity matrix doesn't affect the values of X. So it's X is equal to A inverse B. So we started from that uh, somehow complicated system of equations. And then we translated that system of equations into this standard format. And then based on this standard format, we can find the answer by simply finding the inverse of matrix A and multiplying it by uh, vector B. All right. Now the question is how we can implement this in Python or MATLAB. In Python, we can simply use the script x is equal to numpy. So we already used a numpy module, linear algebra as a subset of numpy to find inverse of a. So this part is nothing but a inverse. So our goal is to solve this set of the system of linear equations. So a inverse, and then multiplied by B. So X is equal to A inverse B. So this is how we can find the answer for this. Uh, here, note that uh, the solution X of a given system of equation, our system of equation is AXB and matrix A and vector B are predefined arrays in Python. How about MATLAB? In MATLAB, we have two ways uh, to find the solution for the system of equations. One is to use x is equal to a backslash b. So this directly finds the answer to that equation ax is equal to b. Also, another way is to use uh, matrix uh, left division, which means x is equal to ml divide a and b in parentheses. So these two, both of them, if this system of equations has an answer, it's going to give us that answer. All right, so the properties of systems of equations. As I mentioned, systems of equations do not always have a unique solution. So sometimes they are underdetermined, which means we have more unknowns than equations. For example, 2x1 plus x2 minus x3 plus 4x4 is equal to 11. And x1 minus x2 plus 2x3 minus x4 is 19. So here, what happens, our A matrix, matrix of coefficients is 2, 1, minus 1, 4, 1, minus 1, 2, minus 1. So here we have two equations and four unknowns. What does this mean? Our equations is less than the number of unknowns. This can usually lead to infinite solutions. And we call this coefficient matrix a void coefficient matrix. A void coefficient matrix has more columns than rows. So here we have four columns, but we only have two rows. So if we have a void coefficient matrix, 
usually our system of equations is underdetermined and leads to infinite solution. The second scenario is overdetermined. More equations than unknowns. For example, x1 minus x2 is equal to 4. 2x1 plus x2 is equal to 1. 3x1 minus 2x2 is equal to 8. So in this case, matrix A looks like 1 minus 1, 2, 1, 3 minus 2. So as you can see, matrix A has more rows than columns. It only has two columns, but it has three rows. So in this case, we call it a tall coefficient matrix. If we have a tall coefficient matrix, it implies that we have more equations. In this case, three equations than unknowns, but we only have two unknowns. So the problem is somehow overdefined. We call it overdetermined. And usually this scenario leads to no solution. All right. Last but not the least is the one that uh, we discussed in this lecture, balanced or a square. Same number of equations and unknowns. For example, 2x1 plus x2 minus x3 is five, x1, minus 10x2 plus 11x3 is seven, and minus 11x1 plus 25x2 plus 3x3 is 17. In this case, matrix A or matrix of coefficients is two, one minus one, one minus 10, 11, minus 11, 25, three. So here, matrix A is a square matrix, which means the number of rows and columns are equal. That implies that we have the same number of equations and the same number of unknowns. In this specific example, we have three equations, and we also have three unknowns. In case that matrix A is invertible or determinant of matrix A is non-zero, Usually this leads to one unique solution for X. All right. And now let's take a look at an example for uh, systems of equations. As I mentioned, we can implement all these examples uh, using Python or MATLAB. We already introduced uh, the scripts for that. I just want to show you a hands-on example. And for finding the inverse, I'm just... Uh, using an offline tool. So we are not going to do the inverse by hand, we use the software. So this is the question. Find the answer to this system of equations. minus x1 plus x2 is minus four, and x1 plus three x2 is zero. So as we mentioned, we want to translate this into matrices and vectors so that we can uh, use the computer, use the programming tools to solve it. So first we define vector of unknowns. So what are our unknowns? x sub one and x sub two. So this is the vector of unknown. Then define the matrix of coefficients. In this case, we have two unknowns and two equations. So matrix A is defined as minus one, 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 three. Minus one, 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 three. Last but not the least, the right-hand side vector. Vector B is equal to minus four and zero. So now we can say that this is what we have. A multiplied by X is equal to B. The answer to this system of equations is X is equal to A inverse B. So the very first step is to find whether matrix A is singular or not. 
So we have to find determinant of matrix A. Determinant of minus one, 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 three. As we discussed before, it will be minus one multiplied by three minus one multiplied by one. Minus three minus one minus four. So the determinant is non-zero. So matrix A is invertible. All right. Now that matrix A is invertible, we are going to find A inverse. A inverse in this case is minus three by four, one by four, one by four, one. All right. So now we have all the components to find this. We have B, we have A inverse, we just need to multiply them. All right. We have B, which is minus four zero. We have A inverse, which is this matrix. And we want to find X, which is X sub one, X sub two equal to one by four, one by four multiplied by minus four zero. So as we discussed this before, we multiply this row by this column. So it's going to be minus three by four multiplied by minus four plus one by four multiplied by zero. And then we multiply this row by this column. One by four minus four plus one by four zero, which is equal to three and minus one. All right, so three is value of our x1 and minus one is value of our x2. Let's go back to the initial equation to verify this. Minus x1 plus x2 is minus four. x1 plus three x2 is zero. So we know that x1 is three, x2 is minus one. x1 is three minus, three plus x2 minus one is equal to minus four. This is correct. We know x1 is three, x sub two is minus one. So three plus three multiplied by minus three, three minus three is equal to zero, which is correct. So this is the answer to our set of our system of equations. So in this part, we talked about part five of matrices, which was systems of equations. First, we talked about how we represent a system of equation in the matrix and vector format. We have matrix, matrix of coefficients multiplied by vector of unknowns, which is equal to the right-hand side vector. So this is predefined. This is matrix of coefficients, which is again predefined. And X is vector of unknowns. And then we discussed how we can solve this uh, in Python or MATLAB. This, the basic rule is X is equal to A inverse B. This is only for the case where A is a square and invertible matrix. So we have this assumption. We also talked about uh, different scenarios overdetermined, underdetermined, and a square cases. So that was all uh, for system of equations. And this was the last part of the modules for matrices.